If Benny May knew how strong Feldman was, oh, it'd be a no-brainer. Yeah, he would instantly, instantly push all in. He might just flat here, actually, now. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. David Benjamin's leaning towards flat calling here, thinking that if he checks the turn, no matter what the card is, Andrew Feldman bets, then he gets to push all in. Better chance, actually, now that I've thought about it, that's the best way to play this pot. Well, if Feldman, I mean, you start thinking of the hands Feldman has. If Feldman has like an ace-10 here, you don't want to blow him off that hand. That's why I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah I, I think that might be the best way of playing this hand. Because also, too, if Andrew Feldman leads the turn, well, then he's pot committed for the rest. He's not going to go anywhere with, you know, 20,000 left or 30,000. Exactly. The pot's 58,000, and it's 18-8 to call. Pretty sure we're going to see a flat call here. I think this is what David Benjamin has deducted as well. I'm all in. All in. No, Benjamin's no. going to go all in. Feldman's going to double check. I'm pretty sure Feldman's going to call this. Yeah, well, I, I mean, unless he has ESP, I don't know how he get away, gets away from this hand. Well, it's it's 54,000 to call. The pot's 131. It's not quite getting 3 to 1, but he's getting more than 2 to 1. I mean, he's getting about 2.5 to 1. He's going to call. And he does. Oh. One, twice. Depends what you got. Oh, I've got a spade. Interesting card on the turn. Now it's any spade. Not going to happen. And Benny Mean's going to win that one. Oh, yeah, and he'd be on the spade. 5 3 his spade. Yeah. That would have been nice. And Benny Mean's going to win that. He had to fade a spade, a 5 or a 3, to win that one on the river. And he did. The Deuce of Clubs on the river, and Benny Mean wins it. $185,000. And Andrew Feldman's bad luck continues. Tom Dwan still on top, and Ed Oberstead right behind him. Andrew Feldman, now our big loser. He is down a whopping $142,000. That's definitely got a sting. Yeah, I mean, it's really two hands. Remember that big move that he made when he had the king-queen against Phil Ivey's queen-four? And then this one, unfortunately for him, gets in there, he flops two pair, and he walks into the nuts. And for the young Brit, a lot of our big hitters... Very, very deep night now. Zygmunt, 200,000. Overstad, 240. Benjamin, 207. Duan, 340. Phil Ivey, right around 150. We could see a big pot brewing here, Robert. Just like the perfect storm, whenever the stacks get deep, sometimes you get those big hand against hand like we saw recently. You know recently. what I love about you, Phil? After, after yesterday, you getting really talking to you a little bit. You really got these idiots really, like, bamboozled. Ivey going to raise this up with ace-king. Ben, you mean with seven deuce? I like playing against a guy when I know one of his cards. I enjoy that. <laughs> Am I showing you my hand? <laughs> That's my pair. <laughs> That's, That's two of them. <laughs> okay. Well, I really like that. You really do? Yeah. What is it? I'm not going to tell you. If you know. I told you I, I, saw, I saw one of your cards. I think. I think I did. So you could really confuse me. Yeah, now. No, you could really great, confuse me. Great. I think I saw one of your cards. That would be funny if I call and I'm going to be fun. <laughs> that just that would be so funny. <laughs> For who? For you think me. that'd be funny if it Phil? For me. That's not nice. If he saw one on my card. Phil happens to be one of my friends. You think it's funny to do that to him? <laughs> yeah, Mike, I suggest you put the donkey for yourself right now. You know what? The donkey needs a little bit of love. I think I saw like a black picture. I'm not sure. Let's enjoy it for a second. I'm waiting for somebody to punch that donkey in the face. This is how my car looks like, really. When I have B7, they always think I have like the king, queen, and spade. Well, David, I'll, I'll admit, after playing your F game in the first 45 minutes, you settled down really nicely when you yeah, got that straight. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's, that's, that's amazing how good I played the wheel. The crowd has come out to watch the greats of the game. And I'm not complaining because I've got one of the best seats in the house. I need a little time, you know, to get to flop in that. Race, 2000. Andrew Feldman. I think he'd rather be in here than at the table right now. <laughs> He's down he almost $150,000. I bet he wish he was.
You know, it's one of those spots where you want to be anywhere but here. And the one thing that's always interesting is when a player starts losing, the sharks start smelling the blood, don't they? Many times that happens. Zygmunt going to try to uh, eight, eight queen. take an arm or a leg from Feldman this time. Oh, and a great flop for Zygmunt, three eights. This is a really interesting flop because Feldman's got a gut shot, but if he hits his gut shot straight, 32. Zygmunt's going to have a full house. A nine would be a disaster for Andrew Feldman. Uh, and, the, and the way Feldman's day is going, you don't almost expect it. I don't think Zygmunt's going to give him a chance to catch a nine because it looks like he's reaching for enough chips for a raise here. Raise, 92. 9-2, Feldman, 6,000 to call. Yeah, with the two clubs on the board, I don't think Andrew Feldman could continue here. Overcard on the board as well, the queen. Two eights, myriad of possibilities. I mean, it must be so down. weird. Feldman dominates his competition so often. And then he comes here at the Million Dollar Cash Game. And he's being dominated. Yeah, it just for him, it, it's, it, you know, that big fish, small pond syndrome. And now he comes here, and now he's the little fish in this big pond with these sharks. And he's just getting ripped apart. And, of course, Ziggy right now, still losing himself, but he's trying to climb out of that hole. He's down just about $90,000. <laughs> and the adjustments continue here. No Duan, no Antonius. You must have beat these guys out of a lot of money for you to play as tight as you do now. You just like lock it up and just like, how many houses you buy? Yachts? How many houses you buy just off David alone? <laughs> off me? Yeah. <laughs> Not that many. Not that many? I don't think so. Whee! Just the garden. You just bought the garden? That's not bad. I didn't lose too much against him. I mean, I could see. Tom Dwan taking a walk. He's up almost a quarter of a mil, but Antonius is a big loser, and he's staying away from the table still. Eighteen hundred. Let's be honest, though. A couple hundred thousand dollars for Antonius. Once again, true. Yeah, a couple hundred thousand. You know, another day at the office. Yeah, for you and me, <laughs> that's a lifetime of Hugo's. Cool. King of five, Jack. King Jack 5, couple of hearts out there. Check. Top pair for Feldman. Not much of a kicker, but he is ahead. Zygmunt with second pair. 3,800. Zygmunt bets. Continues betting close to the pot. I think that's his style now. Cool. I used to think that he was trying to make it look like a bluff in certain spots, but he keeps betting that. Seven. Yeah, some players like to keep the pot small, like Mike Matisau. Check. And some players, they live to build big pots, and that's Zygmunt. And he has to look back at his hand here. He looks back an awful lot. Is it a show? I think it just gives him more time to think. Check. Seven. Feldman's played the hand somewhat slow. I thought Feldman would bet the river. Yeah. It's a tough one with a heart. Could be a flush draw to begin with. It looks like Andrew Feldman is going to bet the river. 9,200. I don't think Zygmunt's going to pay him off here, but I could be wrong. You know what? Actually, I think Zygmunt might pay this off. I don't think we're going to see anything fancier than a payoff. Well, his hand's got showdown value. There's no real point in, his putting, in turning his hand into a bluff, is it? Yeah, well, I don't think so. Unless he puts his opponent on a weak king. King, King. And he does decide to pay Andrew Feldman off. A nice value bet from Andrew Feldman. In a day where not much has gone right for him, finally, a ray of sunshine. Phil, I want to do what, take what you was on yesterday, where he was all happy all day. And uh, laughing and making That me, was the first seven me, hours of sleep in the next four months. <laughs> I never laughed That's so what hard he was in my on. life. The guy, he needled more. He, I couldn't even hold my candle to him as a needler. I mean, he was just throwing out lefts and rights. 600 to play. Mike the Mouth, truly one of the characters of the game, but he's got a lot of talent. It's not just the mouth. <laughs> Raised to 2,000 plus. Well, I'll tell you what. If he could play as good as he talks, he would be the best player ever. But that's not to say he's not a really good player. Well, nobody can be as good as he talks. Call 2,000. <laughs> that's not possible. Call. Cool. Feldman with fives. 
Benny Mean had already raised it up with 3 4 suited. Well, he figured Deuce 4 works so well. Why not 3 4? A7 ace, check or back? And uh, this time, he doesn't check. quite flop the nuts. Check. I think Ziggy's going to like this one. Check. Ziggy's got trip aces with a 10 kicker. Trey, check or back? Check. Check. He checks around. This was five ways. No, four ways you saw this flop. Here's the bet from Ziggy. 6,200. Pass. Benjamin gives up his two pair. Yeah, four ways, though. I mean, really? I mean, I'm not sure if he's going to stick around, though. I mean, a heads-up situation, you might get stuck in there with fives, but you saw this flop four ways. Pass. My gut is you've got to be in there looking for a set. If you don't hit your set, you throw it away, right? And even if he doesn't have two fives beat, what are you going to Are you going to call 6,200 here and then call another 18,000 on the river? Zygman down nearly $100,000. It hurts. It hurts bad. <laughs> it's like, it's like, this is like torturous. I mean, I mean, how much did he beat you guys out of? That's what I want to know. I mean, this number has to just be just enormous. Trying to get 10 cents out of him is like... We just got 10,000 a second ago. Okay. Join us after the break for more action from the FullTiltPoker.com Million Dollar Cash Game. Welcome back to the FullTiltPoker.com Million Dollar Cash Game. We're in the heart of London. <laughs> We're the best in the business. We're sitting at the table and putting their skill to the test. 1,200 to play. This is really the best of the best. I mean, it's one thing having great players. We have the best of the best in the world at this table. Raise to 3,700. Benjamin going to raise it up to 3,700, a little bit over 3x. Ziggy's going to call. Ziggy doesn't give up the straddle very easily. You've got your chance to Dolly Parton hand. 10-90s. Check or bet? Right. Check. And the old Dolly Parton outflops Benjamin. Ziggy with a pair of nines. Yeah, this is a, actually a dangerous spot for David Benjamin to lead. It's a very coordinated board. Two to a straight, two to a flush. A lot of drawing hands that could still be out there. It looks like he wants the continuation bet anyway. And, of course, the one issue with the continuation bet here. Now, Benny means in position, so he's going to make the continuation bet. Bet 5,400. But if you get called or raised, you really don't know where your opponent's at. Is he calling you or raising you with a draw or a made hand? Cool. Zygmunt makes the call, and now it's up to Benny Mean to try to figure out where Zygmunt's at. Seven. Check or bet? Check. That actually is a, a good card for David Benjamin. Gives him an open and straight draw now. Still has the overcard ace. Once again, if David Benjamin smells any weakness at all, he might have led. Check. Satisfied to take off the free ace. card, and a great free check. card it was. Check. Yeah, it went check, check. Benjamin takes the free card. Needed a six, a jack, or an ace. And now the question is, is his hand strong enough to make a value bet? The danger of making a thin value bet against that player like Zygmunt is he's capable of check-raise bluff, isn't he? He is capable. That 15,000? But it, I, I don't think the storyline would hold up well here. This doesn't fit into the way he's played this hand. But sometimes when your storyline's not there, David Benjamin's told a pretty confusing one himself. Looks like Zygmunt is actually very much considering making this call. Cool. And he does. Ace. Okay. Ace, good. It's a crying call. It's almost like he knew he was beat, but he had the call. He's going to hate what he sees, but he's not surprised. Benjamin, what a turnaround. The low point of the day for Benjamin. We saw him make that big call with Ace Queen. He was down a lot, down nearly 100000 He's turned that around now, and he's up $30,000. Blinds and answers, please. The fans have come out in force to watch their favorite poker players. And it's 600 to play. It's not often you get to watch these players live. Pass. So when they come in your town, the fans come out. Cool. 600. They sure do. Sometimes I'll watch them online. You can sweat the big players when they're playing online. It's great. But nothing like watching them live. Raise to 2,800. 
Yes. Feldman, they're playing online, it's great. But nothing like watching them live. Race to 2,800. Yes.